ever picked the wrong domain or just needed to switch the things up? So changing your domain name in hosting up is really simply simpler than you think. So stick with me, let's see what we can do. So here inside, whether you are rebranding or just found a better domain, let's see what we can do to switch this seamlessly. Now there are some few prerequisites in order to continue, this is going to be really important. For example, like a new domain register, a backup of your website, and access to the hosting account. So in here, I do have now access to my hosting account. As you can see here, it is a home and dashboard website. And here, what I need to do is to check out the new domain we have registered. So if I go here into domains, let's go for get a new domain. Now here into the new domain, just type the domain name which you like to purchase. Go for search. And here it is, the list of the domains that you can purchase. For example, this is the actual price. This is the BU bundle. Here it is the AI generated alternatives. Uh, some that are popular and of course are really, really low price. So once you choose one that you like the most and go for buying the domain. So here, let's try it out with something really, really easily. Now to navigate to the hosting dashboard, I mean inside the hosting dashboard, we need of course to check out the hosting tab inside the hosting. So we can select the website associated with the domain if you want to change. So let's go directly here into host Tinger. Check out here that we have the domain section. And here is the status of the two set it up. So uh, adding a domain via the host Tinger dashboard is gonna be really easily. So if you check out here the domain, you enter the new domain name and follow the prompts to verify the ownership. So basically, if I choose the option that says add new domain and I choose transfer an existing domain, here is the domain for the transfer. You go for the domain transfer, go for continue, and check out the transfer element. Now here, for example, it says uh, the domain is locked at the current register. And here, as you can see, is the actual price after this successfully has been transferred. So to hit now and to check again, it's gonna be really important to check out how it actually looks. Now in my case, I think we're gonna try it out how it actually looks, this domain name. When you check out that the site currently is not working or it might be working, here you can check out that it's gonna be now I've been active. So usually what I do is to go into a domain that you currently already been having, for example, that you purchase it for another place, for example, here into Namecheap. So into Namecheap, I'm going to try to sign in. I have my domain list, which in this case, for example, let's say that I clicked in one of them. I hit into Managed. And this domain, I want it to be transferred into this domain of the hosting. Let's try it out back. Let's get now into Transfers. Make sure that your domain has now been unlocked so you can check it out again. And once your domain has now been unlocked, you are now ready to get it in here. Basically, what I need to do is to make sure that this one is now the domain locked is stuffed. And there we go, unlocked successfully and we're good to go. Now that my domain has now been registered, we can move on into the DNS record. To link the new domain to my website, we wanted to change the primary domain to the hosting settings. So it's gonna be really important to link your new domain to your website. So for that, I want to make sure that my domain is now inside the domain section. So let's here into this element that says domains. Let's go for domain portfolio. And this is the actual domain that I currently have. And go for my websites. Directly here into your websites, you can see that we have an actual website generated. We can create a new website if I wanted to. But here into this account element, we can just check out the website tagged to element. So basically, we can check out whatever, into whatever element, into whatever website would you like to change your domain. Hit into add, and then import the new domain that you would like to add into your store, or into your website, which in my case, I'm gonna hit into my domain portfolio, and this is it. So I go back, I copy it, and I go for next. The hosting goes gonna be asking you to enter some DNS records. Those DNS records should be imported in here. For example, it's going to be asking you to enter a CNAME record, a TXT record, a CNAME record, 
and the value. Of course, this information should be provided for hosting, so make sure you copy all of this information you paste it into the band's DNS. Once you have saved this process, you can just go back directly into the website of the hosting and make sure your domain has not been saved correctly. So once you test your website, once you hit now into uh, view my website, I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to check this out and I check out my URL here into the upper side. You should see that your store has now changed it from the URL. Now, something else that you can do just in case you wanted to use, for example, here, coolcats.com instead of click, for example, what I need to do is to go here into my domains, choose my domain portfolio, and choose the one that I currently have. Here into the one that I currently have, I can hit now into managed. If I wanted to change my domain for another, it should pass four days after the purchase, so you can sell this domain again. Once you have sell this product again, let's say this domain, I can go and hit add a new domain. So instead of coolcats.click, let's see what we have now available. For example, cool cats. Hit into search. And instead of coolcats.click, I might be using something else. For example, coolcats.mx, coolcats, uh, coolcats.website, .tab, .digital, .cloud, whatever. So when I make the purchase of this product, you now know how to add this product directly into your store. So use exactly the same information of your domain. Check out the option that says Managed. Go for the DNS name servers. And here you want to import the hosting or elements that's going to be asking you to import into your new website. And of course, once again, you want to go into the domain that you can purchase it, review it, and check that this domain has now been added. And there we go. Now that you have tested your website, now that you have now checked out the domain into hosting girl, you have updated your DNS and you test a new domain to ensure everything works, you are good to go. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully we can all see you next time.